excited. I am so excited that this is finally happening. It's been nine and a half years and we are finally getting married. We had a really fun morning, just like chilling on the back of the boat. That was fun. Okay. I'm going on the back of the boat. What really put me towards her was the fact that she was so outgoing, so um, she's just passionate about everything that she's doing, and so she really kept me interested and engaged in just about everything that she would talk about, and I asked her to date me because it was just, her and I had so much in common, and just our mindsets kind of clicked at the time. Actually, the thing that's going through my head right now is when I walk down and my dad sees me because I'm an only child and I'm daddy's girl in mommy's world. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be emotional. Yeah, I do, because when I think about it, like I just, these people that are here for us, I'm not gonna be a Winnie anymore, and that's a big deal. So that's gonna be different. Well, you know, it's a big decision figuring out. I mean, we've been together for nine and a half years, but at the same time, you know, we, ha we have the house and everything like that. We have the house, we have the finances all together, but it's a lifetime commitment that you're jumping into. And it's, so it's a, it's a lot to think about, to say the least. <laughs> the ability for her to put forth as much emotion, as much effort um, as she does, it really inspires me to be a better person. Dear future wife. Through the last nine and a half years, we have been through our share of ups and downs. I know that there were some points where giving up would have been the best option, but you still stayed with me. You have always treated me with loyalty and respect and have truly held us together. You're my rock, my support, and my one true love, and I'm honestly not sure where I'd be without you. So as we embark on our maiden voyage, I truly have no words to describe my happiness and excitement for this day to finally be here, to where I can officially call you my wife and first mate in the ship that we call life. Love your future husband. Beautiful, Sarah. Beautiful, Jeff. <laughs> I'm ready to go marry him.
I think we have been in this for so long now, nine and a half years, that this is the next step, but at the same time, I think that once I start, once I see her actually walk down that aisle and, you know, she puts that ring on my finger and such, it will really hit home the fact that this is the person that I'm going to be with. Well, a very warm welcome to you all, and particularly to Ryan and Sarah on this, their special day. I'd like to read you a poem all about love, and it was written some 500 years ago by a man named Thomas a Kempis. At the same time, Christopher Columbus was landing in the New World. I think this is particularly appropriate today as you head into your New World. Love is a great thing, a great good in every way. It alone lightens what is heavy and leads smoothly over all roughness. For it carries a burden without being burdened, and makes every bitter thing sweet and tasty. Love wants to be lifted up, not held back by anything low. Love wants to be free and far from an odd world of desires. Good fortune bind it, or misfortune cast it down. Nothing is sweeter than love, nothing stronger, nothing higher, nothing wider, nothing happier, nothing fuller. Nothing better in heaven or earth. Ryan and Sarah, you have decided to become companions for life. You are pledging your hearts and unfolding your lives to each other. You offer each other for care, comfort and love. You offer each other for wisdom and truth. You offer yourselves to each other as a fine gift, to nurture and honour for the rest of your lives. You will exchange wedding bands, perfect circles of precious metal which are a sign of the circle of joy and love which surrounds you both. I now invite you to commit yourselves to the following promises and exchanges. You are Ryan Alexander Malone and you are Sarah Beth Winnie. Yes. yes. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm also required to ask of you, are you desirous of becoming husband and wife? Yes. Yes. Do either of you or anyone here present know if you have any lawful impediment why you should not be joined together in matrimony? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, that's it, no, yeah? No, no, no. no. That's, that's not. Good. Okay, Ryan, if you'd like to say after me, please. I, Ryan. I, Ryan. Do solemnly declare. Do solemnly declare. That I do not know. That I do not know. Of any lawful impediment. That I, of any lawful impediment. Why I, Ryan Alexander Malone. That why I, Ryan Alexander Malone, should not be joined in matrimony. Should not be joined in matrimony. To Sarah Beth Winnie here present. To Sarah Beth Winnie here present. Excellent. Sarah, your turn. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I do not know. That I do not know. Of any lawful impediment. Of any unlawful impediment. Why I, Sarah Beth Winnie. Why I, Sarah Beth Winnie. Should not be joined in matrimony. Should not be joined in matrimony. To Ryan Alexander Malone here present. To, he, say again. <laughs> <laughs> to Ryan Alexander Malone here present. To Ryan Alexander, Alexander Malone here present. Sorry. I now ask, ask the principal witnesses to attest your vows. So if you'd now like to join hands, please. Tell us okay, Ryan, again, if you'd like to repeat after me, please. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Ryan. To witness that he, I, Ryan, do take you, Sarah, to take you, Sarah, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawfully wedded wife, secure in the knowledge that you'll be my constant friend. Oh, that was a long one. Can you repeat that? <laughs> secure in the knowledge that you'll be my constant friend. Secure in the knowledge that you will be my constant friend. My faithful partner in life. My faithful partner in life. And my one true love. My one true love. I promise to love you without reservation. I promise to love you without reservation. Comfort you in times of distress. Comfort you in times of distress. Encourage you to achieve all of your goals. <laughs> Encourage you to achieve all your goals. Laugh with you and cry with you. Laugh with you and cry with you. Grow with you in mind and spirit. Grow with you in mind and spirit. Always be open and honest with you. Always be open and honest with you. And cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And cherish you for as, both, as long as we both shall live. Well done. Sarah, your turn now. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. 
To witness that I, Sarah. To witness that I, Sarah. Do take you, Ryan. Take you, Ryan. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Secure in the knowledge that you'll be my constant friend. Secure in the knowledge that I'll be your constant friend. My faithful partner in life. My faithful partner in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. I promise to love you without reservation. I promise to love you without reservation. Comfort you in times of distress. Comfort you in times of distress. Encourage you to achieve all of your goals. Encourage you to achieve all of your goals. Laugh with you and cry with you. Laugh with you and cry with you. Grow with you in mind and spirit. Grow with you in mind and spirit. Always be open and honest with you. Always be open and honest with you. And cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And cherish you as long as we both shall live. So honor these vows, you will now exchange wedding rings. Do we have wedding rings, please? Did you lose it? <coughs> okay, Ryan, as you place the ring on Sarah's finger, say after me, please. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And I seal my love for you. And I seal my love for you. Well done. Sarah, the same for you as you place the ring on Ryan's finger. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And seal my love for you. And seal my love for you. Well done. Okay, the blessing for the marriage now. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitements of a marriage should bring. And may life grant you also patience, tolerance and understanding. May you always need one another, not so much to fill your emptiness as to help you know your fullness. A mountain needs a valley to be complete. The valley because it has a mountain towering over it. So let it be with you and you. May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of luck. May you entice one another, but not compel one another. May you succeed in all your way, important ways with one another, and not fail in the little graces. May you look for things to praise. Often say, I love you, and take no notice of small faults. If you have quarrels that push you apart, may both of you hope to have good sense enough to take the first step back. May you enter into the mystery which is the awareness of one another's presence. No more physical than spiritual, warm and near when you are side by side, and warm and near when you are in separate rooms or in distant cities. May you have happiness and may you find it in one another to make each other happy. May you have love, and may you find it in loving one another. Ryan and Sarah, you have given yourself to each other by solemn vows, the joining of hands and the exchanging of rings. As master of the Emerald Princess and the legal power vested in me by the laws of Bermuda, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Well done. I think you're missing one thing, aren't you? <laughs> You may kiss the bride. Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Malone. As I look at my daughter, the bride, I can't help but reflect on all the years I was lucky enough to watch her grow and become the beautiful woman she is today. She captured my heart on the day she was born. And I became more in awe of her as the years passed by. She's my little girl, and no matter what age she is, she'll always be that to me. 
But today as I watch her marry a wonderful man, I'm filled with pride and I'm confident that she and Ryan are about to embark on a wonderful journey filled with love and happiness that can only come from a man and wife. May the two of you always treat each other with love, compassion, and kindness. I ask you to join me today in congratulating the bride and groom and wishing them all the best for a long and happy life together. When we are the most comfortable, you know, whether we're relaxing or we're just doing something we both enjoy, it literally feels like there is no other place in the world that I would rather be. You guys work great together regardless of what happens. Honestly, I envy the love that you both have for one another. In both good and bad times, you guys have stayed true to yourselves and helped each other out. Don't ever lose that quality. I have nothing but love and support for both of you. I can't wait to see what, what the future has in store for each of you. Sarah, I couldn't have asked for a better, better sister-in-law. Welcome to the family. Congratulations to both of you again. It's just always been him. Like never wanted anybody else. Like the minute we started talking, it was, I could talk to him like I had known him forever. It was, and we'd only been talking for two days. And it's always been him for me. The future that I see with her is growing old together, sitting on the front porch somewhere, two of us in our 70s, 80s, still hand in hand in our rocking chairs, still enjoying each and every day, you know, living our lives to our fullest, and then looking back and seeing that we did live good lives. When I, look, when I look in her eyes, I see the best parts of me. She brings out the best parts of me. And I think that is how I know that I love her. Crying to me is this lovable, safety, goofy, person that I can always count on to be there for me, always. He's the person that I can fall back on. He's the person that will make me laugh. He's the person that just looks at me and is like, thank you for doing that.
if I'm looking into her eyes or I'm in one of those comfortable moments. You know, I can almost look into the future and see what the rest of my life would be like. And the truth would be that I wouldn't want a life without her.